Um, and so just like, let's talk public health was just the next logical step for trying to, to make that happen. Well, shout out to you and the team that you're building and the work that you're doing. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you uh, took a, a chance on yourself and you are seeing the impact before your, your eyes right now. So one of the things that I use actually a lot from, from uh, Let's Talk Public Health is the complete list of observances for public health communication and marketing. It's yes. a resource that, that I use, Brothers in Public Health uses. What are some of the things that you do as let's talk public health when people go to your website what are the kind of things that they can glean from from you yeah um that makes me so happy that, <laughs> that is like our top performing resource um yeah it's I, a good one yeah 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 I, I, I thought so i felt like it was missing i was like i needed something like this where was this when i was at what's that um yeah i one of the things that I really wanted to do at Let's Talk Public Health was as much as possible to create free or at least like very inexpensive resources that folk could help folks with health communication and marketing. Because as we know, public health is severely underfunded. And most like health departments and like frontline um, organizations that are doing works on the front lines don't have the budgets to hire a marketing company. They don't. Um, they don't have an in-house social media person. They have somebody who's doing three other roles, posting randomly, trying to make it work, you know? And and so I wanted to build resources to help those those organizations, those smaller agencies, the ones that don't have the big budgets to be able to do the best that they can do. Um, and so one of those was just like going through the interwebs and <laughs> pulling every observance I could find that was relevant and putting it all in one place. I was like, that just seems so, so needed so that you can go and look and see when are people talking about the thing that I'm doing work in so I can make sure that I'm in those conversations when they're happening. Um, so that's one resource. Um, we also have the HealthCom toolbox, which is just like a um, compilation of all the different health communication related tools that I find online. So when I see something that I'm like, oh, this is a good resource, it could be plain language um, guides and, and tools for like, you know, reading is your, is your website readable? What's the, um, the reading level of the text on your site? Or if it's a color contrast tool, so you can make sure your images are 508 compliant and that people can actually read the text on the images. Um, or if it's resources for using social media, um, whether it's like toolkits and guides, or I just wanted to, to put all those resources in one place, um, so that people could find them more easily, find what they're looking for and, and continue on, um, you know, creating the resources and putting up information and data that they have in the most engaging and creative way possible. Um, so yeah, we just offer a bunch of resources through the our library. Um, we've also launched an academy and right now we have some free digital downloads there. There's a course in the works um, where I'm going to just be breaking down all of the things I think you need to know. <laughs> that question you asked about how do people engage effectively, that is what's going to be broken down in the course. I'm going to take you through a whole list, hit the high level stuff um, so that um, folks who are doing this work can know what they need to know to be able to do the best that they can do and communicating and sharing their messages, the information, data, so on and so forth, and connecting, engaging with the communities they serve. Um, so there's the academy, we have the library, we have our productions, we have a YouTube channel, which I'm really hoping um, in the next year to really expand and do more video content um, around health communication, tips we're seeing, um, what's the best practices and, and communicating about X, Y, Z, because so much research comes out, but I don't think we're always um, quick about incorporating what the data is telling us into how we're messaging. Um, so trying to be able to pull that information for people um, and put it in one place where it's easy to find, um, that's kind of the, the goal. Outside of like the work we do with our clients, that's really something that was important to me was putting those resources together and, and as much as we can, helping all the agencies out there and organizations that even those that aren't our clients to be able to do the best that they can do because health communication saves lives.
Love it. Love it.